All that modified racing paint off for Davy Hamilton. Greg Waugh pulls on to second behind Stewart. White flag, one to go now. Since we're running over, the chances of talking to Stewart are very, very slim, assuming he takes the win here. They're assuming anybody takes the win here. I don't think we're going to be able to talk with him. Greg Waugh closes, closes, closer. One final turn to go. The jinx may be off of Stewart's shoulder. finally gets it done, the eighth different winner in 10 IRL events. Tony Stewart has moved up to within five points of Davey Hamilton for the lead in the IRL points. Jen will just slipped out of his hand. Yeah, he dropped it. Fuel takes a look at a white flag. One mile to go, but so Sperry is right there. Lionsdyke comes up to third as we work the final lap with a lot of traffic ahead. So Sperry gets way high. Is Buell about to take his first win? Well, we got traffic. He's got a corner left. He's got one of them. He's got a little bit of space. Look at on the outside. So Sperry moves high on the outside. Buell just may get trapped as they come to the line. He comes way wide. So Sperry makes the drive, but Buell takes the win. Wow, good win. Buell takes the win as Eddie Cheever runs out of Ward up the third, Davy Hamilton up the fourth. White flag, white flag. A white flag. One more lap, one more mile for Tony Stewart. He took on the extra fuel, so he's got plenty of fuel to get there. But let me tell you, behind Tony Stewart, some of these other teams are really going to be jumping. Battle for second, and Jeff Ward goes past. Chastain Now we watch for the battle for second place. Chastain's out of fuel. Look at the cars running slow on the inside. Everybody. They've had a lot of success. White flag, buddy. But also a lot of races they failed to finish. He's on his last lap. Now they're buddies. You know, it's amazing when you run up front, they always are buddies. Yeah. A boat call, kid. Stewart Clear. sweeps to the inside. A buzz talking, back straight away. One more car perhaps to pass before the start finish line. Scott Goodyear has done everything to track him down, but he's run out of laps. Tony Stewart wins the Pep Boys 200. That's your bad self. Third Pep Boys Indy Racing League victory for Stewart. And you the man, I'm going to see you. He now leads the IRL standings by 17 points. Left to go. He's right on his gearbox, right here coming over four. Charging, charging, closing the gap. The white flag comes out. And for the Radisson 200, the final lap at Pikes Peak. And can he do it? Sam Schmidt trying to get around Greg Ray and Team Menard. Two pros in front of him, Lazier and Cheever, so they shouldn't come into play. Here they come battling to turn three. Two more quarters for Greg Ray. Ray out of three, Look trying to Sam make it wide. Look at Sam Schmidt. He's going to challenge out of turn four, but Greg Ray is going to hold on and win the Radisson 200 at Pikes Peak. What a fantastic finish here on Fox Sportsnet as the celebration begins. Greg Ray gets his first win. To Greg Ray of Plano, Eight. Texas. 33 years that the Dallas Morning News never recognized a Motorsports Man of the Year. They did so this year for this man, Greg Ray. Ray down the long back straightaway. There is his wife. Angela hoping, watching, waiting. He will come across the stripe and score his second career victory. His best finish last year here. It was 15th in an accident. A very happy John Menard led crew. The Glidden Menard people had took Greg Ray on board this year after Tony Stewart left the team going to Winston Cup Racing. And look who congratulates him first. The man who came back. The white flag is coming out. The white flag comes out in the final lap for the Colorado Indy 200 title. Davey Hamilton desperately looking for a way, but right now it seems like Greg Ray is too strong to catch. No traffic in front of uh, Greg Ray to put a damper on his day. Half a mile to go through turn three. Greg Ray eyeing the victory. Going for the sweep at Pikes Peak. Out of turn four. Here it is. Greg Ray pumping the fist in the air. He wins the Colorado Indy 200. The celebration is underway. Greg Ray says that his hero is a fellow resident of Plano, Texas that now hails from Austin, Texas. It's the man that overcame cancer in the outstanding. So 
it's pretty much a situation where he is not going to be able to defend his Indy Racing Northern Life Series championship, but to put a win in the books here will certainly give this team some momentum heading into the final two races of the year. Final lap is underway. The white is out, and oh, Beachler slides way up high. Gets in the gray stuff and save the car, however. There's your win, fella. Here That's is Greg Ray, Ray coming down. Excellent job. Thanks, everyone, for your hard work. Good job. Greg Ray, Ray wins, and second place goes to Buddy Lazier, but Hauser Jr. made a race out of it. Nice job by Lazier, holding off the challenge of Al Unzer Jr. It's the eighth victory for Team Menard. They've had four with Greg Ray, three with Tony Stewart, and one with Robbie Buell. All seven previous wins have been a one-mile ovals. This is the first win for Team Menard on a one-and-a-half. This team did a great job of playing their cards tonight. That's Billy Boat running there with Greg Ray. Billy Boat is 14th and 91 laps down. He was involved in the big crash. Well, we're coming down to the white flag. We're on the final lap. Now just about a half a lap to go for Greg Ray. We're going to have to get off the air early because we have gone so far over our scheduled off time. So a winner interview will not be likely, but nevertheless, here comes Greg Ray, and he sees the checkered flag, and Greg Ray wins his fifth IRL race, tying him with Scott Sharp for most league victories. It's the ninth win for Team Menard. And here no caution from the IRL officials, although Cheever is driving through a huge smoke well, screen down there. You can see the problem for the drivers. They can't see. They don't know. And he, he's had to lift out of the throttle. Luckily, they weren't really, wasn't really challenging anybody at that point. But if that had been a very close challenge, it could have been a problem with all that smoke out there. This is an historic day for the Indy Racing League. Jacques Lazier is about to win his first Indy Racing League event, and Sam Hornish is about to win the title and become the youngest champion ever in Major League Open Wheel Racing. Here's the checkered flag, and Jacques Lazier wins at Chicagoland, and Sam Hornish Jr. is the champion for 2001. Youngest champion in IRL history, right, Bob? That is correct. Youngest yeah. champion in open wheel history, too, correct? Yep.